Hey guys! Welcome back to our channel, Married in Michigan. If you're new here, my name is Trisha, and if you are a returning subscriber, you probably noticed that my husband Adam is missing from this video. That is because I am going to do a quick skincare favorites video, and he is working in the yard, so hopefully we'll have a small yard renovation video for you guys coming up later this week. First, can we please just talk about this sweatshirt? Um, okay, so I was sitting here getting ready to film and the sweatshirt was like a crew neck sweatshirt. It was really tight. It was uncomfortable, but I just wanted to throw on something to film this video and I decided to cut off the crew neck and make it off the shoulder and actually crop it a little bit too. I cut off the bottom and I just think it's so cute. So it was just a sweatshirt that I was lounging around. Um, in the house and yeah so I think it turned out super cute I don't know what you guys think but if you know you want to cut one of your sweaters it turned out really cute so I highly recommend it okay okay so let's get started with my skincare favorite so a couple of things that I want to mention um, I from a really young age have been obsessed with skincare. I absolutely love everything skincare related. Um, I used to be a huge skincare snob. So, I mean, I would literally go to Sephora um, on a weekly basis and spend like my whole paycheck there, literally. I loved it. I still love Sephora. Um, I love Ulta. I love all things beauty. But um, what I realized is you don't have to spend a fortune on skincare. So, you know, if you're using something and it works, that's awesome. Keep using it. Sometimes you have to switch it up. I know, um, you know, in the winter months, I have to switch things up in the summer, as well as as we get older, certain things that used to work no longer work um, anymore. And I turn to YouTube and a dermatologist, as well as my personal dermatologist on skincare items. And what I learned is you do not need to spend a fortune, you guys. Literally everything I'm going to show you today, with the exception of two products, is drugstore um, and everything is extremely affordable you do not need all of these things by any means I'm just going to show you what I use daily and hopefully this is helpful to some of you guys another thing is I'm not a dermatologist I wish I was a dermatologist just because I love skincare so much but I do watch Dr. Dre on YouTube that's D-R-A-Y Dr. Dre and she is awesome and she's actually a big reason why I switched from all of my high-end products to drugstore products because she actually gets into the science behind all of the products and if you haven't checked her out, check her out, especially if you want to get a little bit deeper into these products that I'm going to be showing you today and learn a little bit more about them. She's really helpful. Um, as well as my personal dermatologist, um, I remember the first time I stepped into my personal dermatologist's office, I was super excited to share with her all of my high-end, amazing beauty products, and she was not impressed at all, guys. <laughs> so, um, you know, not knocking high-end like i said i like high-end and i definitely um these are my everyday products i have you know products that i like to do more pampering i really do like sheet masks silicone masks eye masks things like that i'm not going to get into that today this is more my daily routine that i've been doing well over a year now so if you want to um learn more about this please keep watching i'm going to try to do this in order you guys so like starting with what you would start with in the morning all the way to nighttime. so just bear with me as i show you everything so what i like to start off with whether i'm just washing my face in the morning or taking off my makeup is this sarah v form form Sarah V Foaming Facial Cleanser for normal to oily skin. This stuff, you guys, is amazing. This takes off all of my makeup, including my eye makeup and my waterproof mascara. I've never had a product that I've loved so much. This, to me, is like a number one product, especially if you wear makeup, any kind of makeup waterproof, just general makeup, this stuff is awesome. It will take it all off. I definitely love it. It definitely helps a little bit with oil control, but I wouldn't say that it's drying. Just to give you a little history, I do have normal to combination skin, which tends to be oily, um, but all these products I would say can be used with any certain type of skin 
tight. Um, if you're extremely sensitive, if you have sensitive skin, maybe test it out first. But other than that, I feel like all these products are really friendly. So this cleanses and removes oil without disrupting the protective skin barrier with three essential ceramides and hyaluronic acid. This stuff is awesome. Highly recommend. I cannot live without this stuff. Um, another one that CeraVe has a hydrating facial cleanser for normal to dry skin. I do really like this, especially if I'm feeling drier in the winter. However, I did notice it doesn't take off your eye makeup um, as good as the the one that I used this one. Um, but this one is a really good one. So if you're really dry, I would definitely recommend this one. Um, but again, it doesn't take off your makeup as well if, if you're a makeup wearer. So another item, I don't use this every single day, but if you have breakouts, so whether it's hormonal breakouts, you know, just maybe every day. This pan axle, I think it's how it's called. This stuff is amazing. Again, at the drugstore, you can get it at Target, CVS, Walgreens, Meyer, Walmart as well, and I'm sure on Amazon. Uh, but I'll list everything in the description link below for you guys to check out. But this is a deep cleaning wash for ch your face, chest, and back. I mainly use it on my spot areas on my face. So um, you know, during that time of the month, your chin breaks out, well, my chin breaks out, so I like to kind of scrub it on there after I wash my face, leave it on for a little bit, and wash it off. But this is a deep cleaning wash, and it clears existing acne blemishes and helps prevent new blemishes from forming, and it's really gentle. So again, you don't have to use this every day, and you can use it on your face and body. You can use it every day, but this is great. So whether you have acne, acne breakouts, I highly recommend this. So after I'm done taking off my makeup or cleansing my face with the items I just showed you, I use this Bioderma um, solution. It's micellar water. This stuff is awesome. Uh, I got this from Walmart online. I know you can get it on Amazon as well. I'm almost out and I'm definitely going to be buying another one. And all I do is take a cotton swab. These are awesome from Meyer. Let me show you why. I've used them all, you guys, like high-end cotton balls or swabs, cotton squares, but these from Meyer are awesome. So they're not too cottony, so what I mean is like when you wash your face, you don't want the cotton left behind, and it kind of has like these little squares. Anyway, I love it. So this kind of replaces like a makeup wipe for me. So even though my face is clean, generally everything's off, there might be a little bit of residue, so I just put a little bit on here. And I wipe like, you know, my eyes a little bit and just make sure everything, every ounce of makeup because I do wear a full face is off. Maybe for you it's just oil or sweat or something like that, but this stuff highly recommends. Okay. So after you're done cleansing and washing your face, um, you get into kind of the products that you put on your face. Something that I want to mention that I guess really isn't skincare, but I use it every single day right before I put on my skincare after I get done washing and cleansing my face, um, is this Lumify by Bosch & Lomb um, Eye Drops, you guys. This is absolutely amazing. So I never used eye drops before, um, but I started using these based on a beauty blogger that I love. It just makes your eyes so white, you guys. Like, when I don't use it, I can tell. And it really doesn't do anything else. It just makes them super white. So um, you can definitely see a difference. I highly, highly recommend these. This is like a beauty staple. This is a skincare staple, eyeball staple, whatever you want to call it. So it's Lumify by Bosch & Lomb. It's absolutely amazing. It just makes your eyes so white. They pop so much. Just looks so good. Before we dive into what I actually put on my face, I want to mention this face shaver. So I actually got this from Sally Beauty, but you can get these anywhere, even on Amazon. And yes, I shave my face. It's actually called dermaplaning, and you can get it done um, at you know beauty spas, your dermatologist. Your hair does not grow back thicker, more full, or anything like that. So usually you have just peach fuzz on your face, but if you want dewy, glowy skin, whether you wear makeup or you don't wear makeup, this is going to be your best friend. So usually it comes in a pack of three. They last, you know, a couple uses, I would say. You want it really sharp. And they actually say to shave your face with nothing on it. So after you clean your face, everything's cleansed. You're not supposed to put shaving cream or anything like that on it. You literally want to like shave your entire face. And 
honestly, it just makes your skin so glowy, so dewy. Your makeup goes on so much better if you wear makeup. As well as these are great if you want to um, shave out your eyebrows a little bit. So I trim like the up, the upper part of my eyebrows. I have thick eyebrows, so I like to shave around my face and. I use this anytime I have like a special event, um, you know, something going on. I don't shave it my, and honestly, you only have to do it like a couple times a year. If you have a lot of peach fuzz, maybe you have to do it more, but literally you can shave around like your whole face and it just gets off that dead skin, that peach fuzz, and it really exfoliates your face and it just, oh, it's so amazing. Your makeup goes on amazing. Your skin is glowy and dewy. Whether you wear makeup or not, after you put on your skincare products, it just looks so good. So I highly recommend dermaplaning your face. Let's get into the next step. So after you cleanse your face, maybe you do the facial razor, maybe you don't, um, it's time to put on your products. So I, what I like to start with, this different gel. So this used to be a prescription product only. This stuff is amazing, you guys. So I noticed um, around, you know, hormonal breakouts on my chin around my time of the month would be really bad and it would take a long time to clear up and I knew Every month I was going to get that and it was just terrible, like terrible. So whether you get breakouts, whether it's hormonal, it's all the time, certain times when you're stressed, things like that, this different gel is amazing. It is, um, it's a gel treatment, an acne treatment, so it's specifically for, you know, um, acne. And again, you used to have to have a prescription in the U.S. to get this stuff, you guys. Um, and now you can get it over the counter at any drugstore, Target, CVS, Walgreens, wherever you shop. And um, you can literally just spot treat. So whether you kind of feel something coming on and you want to lightly layer your chin or around your nose or wherever you get acne, maybe it's your whole face, you can do that very, very lightly. You can tell. I love this stuff. It's almost gone. I put it on my chin monthly. Um, but it doesn't even, if you wear makeup too, I put it on in the morning before, I, like after I cleanse my face, before I do my makeup and it does not mess up your makeup either. So you can do it morning, night, um, and again, it doesn't mess up your makeup. This stuff is awesome. So if you have breakouts, if you have acne, try this. It's really affordable. It's a great product. And again, you used to have a prescription and now you don't have to have one. So great product. Um, okay, so after you do your spot treatment, it is time to do either an oil or a serum or both. So I love oils and serums and I actually alternate. That's something that I like to try out different things. That's not one where I'm like, I'm so in love um, with one product where you have to get it. I like to alternate, but I have found a few really affordable drugstore ones that I've been using and loving. The first one I want to show you is by The Ordinary. You may have heard of this brand. They have a bunch of skincare products. I absolutely love it. This is the 12% Brightening Serum. This is the 12% Bright... A 12% Brightening Serum Vitamin C, Stabilized Vitamin C. I keep this in my refrigerator, you guys, and this is how much I love it. It's literally, it's all gone. Um, I ordered another one, but it's not here yet, so you you know, you have to get this at, it's it's like $7, but you do have to get it at like Sephora or Ulta. You can get it on Amazon. I'm not sure yet if it's in like Target and CVS, but again, it's like $7. It's amazing. Put it in your refrigerator. Um, but yeah, so I put on vitamin C. You always want to use vitamin C um, in the morning because it kind of blocks those harmful free radicals. So um, this is really, really good. I love it. So vitamin C um, or... You can do something like CeraVe, the retinol serum. So the CeraVe uh, resurfacing retinol serum, I also like too. I don't do both. I kind of do either or. Um, and this has three essential ceramides, which is great. Licorice root and niacinamide, which is awesome for your skin. This is a fairly new product. I'm almost out of this too. I, I believe this came out, I don't know, maybe six months ago. And I do like this. So I'm going to get into it at night what I do. And I actually do use um, a tretinoin or Retin-A, which is the brand Cream at Night. So you don't want to use both, but maybe you're not ready to do like a medical um, treatment on your face. 
and you want more of a brightening effect and you want to do it at home and see how your skin reacts to retinol serum, um, this is a great one. Again, drugstore, I highly recommend it. If you have really sensitive skin, I would definitely test it out first because, you know, it will sting a little bit, um, but it's definitely worth it. I really do like this as well. Okay. Oh, I forgot one. I'm sorry. This is almost out too. Um, so this actually, this is Paula's Choice. So this is a drugstore, but it is definitely highly affordable. You can also get this in um, a smaller like travel size to test it out. Um, I think it's like six or seven dollars. This one's a little bit more, but definitely check online coupon codes because they Paula's Choice always has great deals with coupons and fast shipping too. I think this comes in two days. Um, and you can probably find it on Amazon as well. But this stuff, you guys, is amazing. So you put this on before, um, after you wash and cleanse your face and before you do any oils or serums. So this is a 2% BHA liquid exfoliant with salicylic acid. It unclogs and shrinks pores, um, smooths and even skin tone. It's lightweight and it absorbs quickly. This, you have to get this. I highly recommend it. It definitely shrinks your pores. It definitely exfoliates. Um, it is a... A wonderful product like I cannot live without this product so again this is something that you do in the morning after you clean your face on a clean face you put this on it is awesome you will see a difference it does sting it does tingle so if you have sensitive skin I'm just warning you now um, but I love it I cannot live without this stuff you guys highly recommend from Paula's Choice okay so the next thing you want to do is you want to go in with an eye cream. You actually don't have to buy an eye cream. You just want to use a thicker consistency moisturizer. Something that I've been really enjoying, and this is probably my third tube of, of it, is the CeraVe Eye Repair Cream. Um, I really like this, but again, you don't have to have a specific eye cream. You just want something that's thicker than your normal face lotion. So something that I want to show you guys, this huge thing here, is the CeraVe Moisturizing Cream. So it's definitely, I don't know if you can see it, um, it's just a thicker consistency um, than a lotion. You can put this, I put this on my under eyes as well. It doesn't disrupt my makeup either. It's the same thing as the CeraVe eye cream. So the CeraVe moisturizing cream is amazing. Um, if you're wondering why I have such a big tube of this, it's because it's so affordable for one. And for two, um, I like to put this on my face at night a lot of times because it's really thick and heavy and I do use it under my eyes and it's just such a good deal. I don't like to use this on my body just because I like to use things on my body that smell really good and you know, all of these things, they're, they are, fix my hair again. This is what happens when you're in quarantine and you can't get a haircut. Your hair is way too long and way too annoying. This is the only thing that I could not do in quarantine, you guys. It is so annoying. I definitely need haircut. Okay, all right. Come on, Trisha, stay with it. Okay, so this stuff is really good stuff, you guys. It's really thick. You just want something thicker under your eyes and this is awesome. So moving on, um, this product by Neutrogena is Hydro Boost Gel Cream with Hyaluronic Acid for extra dry skin. This stuff is awesome. So something I wanna mention about Hyaluronic Acid is it does plump your skin, it does make it look nice and dewy, but then you may notice that after a little bit, a few minutes, once it's absorbed, your skin, it kind of just disappears. That's because it's water and it literally evaporates. So when you use a Hyaluronic um, Gel Cream like this, you need to put this on and then put on a cream over it. So you want to put this on, it'll make your skin look nice and supple, dewy, and then you want to put on your face cream to kind of lock that in. That's something that I've learned that I didn't know. Dr. Dre, she taught me that. Um, I wouldn't say this is a must-have product, but if you have like dry skin and you like to be glowy, especially if you don't wear much makeup, so you kind of rely on your skincare products to give you that nice dewy glow, I would recommend a nice hyaluronic um, cream like this one. Something I want to mention that I also learned is this is the, they have two kinds by Neutrogena. This is the um, fragrance free one. What I've learned is you always want to get fragrance free products on your face. So 
I guess, um, which I never knew this, but um, so fragrance products, especially on your skin, on your skincare, is drying as well as it can be irritating. Found the word. <laughs> so skincare products with fragrance can be very irritating and very drying. So just to give you an example, um, I used to always use baby oil. I just figured it's for babies. It's awesome. Um, to remove my waterproof mascara, it was the only thing that I found that would remove my waterproof mascara. And um, after a while, a few years of me using that, I've tried everything under the sun and that just was the only thing until I found this baby right here that worked to remove my eye makeup. Um, my eyes were watering. I would get out of the shower, nothing on my face. My eyes were so irritated, so watering. And what I learned from Dr. Dre um, was if it something has fragrance, even if you've used it for years, um, it can all of a sudden start irritating your skin. So I thought, hmm, um, I wonder if that's what it is. Also, my eyelashes were becoming brittle. And I'm like, this is really weird. I'm not using any new products. I'm sticking with my normal stuff. So I looked at the baby oil. Guess there's two ingredients. The oil, I don't know which oil it is, forgot. And fragrance. Fragrance was 50% of what was inside of my baby oil. And that was irritating my eyes. It was making my lashes brittle. It was awful. So that's how I started using this product here. I, um... I absolutely love it. I can't believe I found it and it's so cheap. Again, you want fragrance-free Neutrogena. You want to look for the one that says fragrance-free. So the fragrance-free Neutrogena, it's the sensitive skin one. Again, you need to get fragrance-free. All of these products that I'm showing you, they're fragrance-free and they do not irritate the skin. Who knew fragrance irritated the skin? Something I want to mention again, when I talked about this, why I don't put this on my body, I love my Bum Bum Cream, my Brazilian Bum Bum Cream. That is my scent. I don't care. Um, I have to smell good. That is my absolute favorite scent. I put that all over my body and my body just loves it. Um, but for my face, I definitely, my face and my neck, um, I definitely want to use products that aren't going to be irritating because that's the most sensitive part of my body. After you use your hyaluronic acid gel, you want to go in and lock it in with moisturizer. So the moisturizer that I use, no surprise, is CeraVe um, Daily Moisturizing Lotion for Normal to Dry Skin. Um, it helps restore the protective skin barrier with three essential ceramides and hyaluronic acid, and it's lightweight. Again, I tend to have oilier skin. All of these products do not make me oilier. My makeup goes on amazing with them. I love this stuff. I just, after I put on my serums, after I put on you know a little bit of this, and I have my gel and everything, this is what I lock it in with. Perfect. Okay, so the next step is the most important step. And if you've learned anything from this video today, I hope it is this step. So this is my number one beauty secret. I can't believe I'm going to tell you guys this. If you want to know how a 36 year old stays looking young without any Botox or anything yet, <laughs> this is it you guys, sunblock. So I don't care how old you are, I don't care if you're young, if you're middle aged, if you're older, um, you need sunblock. So whether you live somewhere where the sun isn't out, I don't care, you still need to be protected um, from sunblock at all times. The only time that you should not be wearing sunblock is before you go to bed, that's it. So for all my sun goddesses out there, I feel you, I understand. I definitely used to love this on myself. You need to get a good um, self tanner, do some spray tanning ladies and gentle and males, um, but you definitely need sunblock. So. You're allergic to the sun. Just think of it that way. I tell everyone I'm allergic. Yes, I don't care if you don't burn. I don't care if your skin's already tan. I don't care if you have a good base. Those are all excuses. If you want to stay looking younger, the number one anti-aging ingredient of all time is sunblock, okay? So um, I don't use a mineral sunblock. Um, those are the best, by the way, with zinc to keep out um, you know, the UV and UVA rays. Um, but I use and I always use the Neutrogena Ultra Sheer Dry Touch Sunscreen Board Spectrum SPF 100. Um, 
It's a lightweight, clean feel. This one, okay, so a lot of dermatologists will tell you, and you may already know, I think it's like 30 or 40% um, percent of the SPF is like as high as you can go with sunscreen. That is true. However, when you put a sunscreen on, it automatically loses some of its um, broad spectrum SPF. I don't know, like the, the percent. So what I learned, again from Dr. Dre, is why not use um, the highest one that you can find because it definitely, once it starts to absorb and gets on the skin, it um, the percentage shrinks. So why not go higher up because then it will kind of go back down to a lower percent. I love this one. It does not uh, mess with my skin. I have oily skin. My makeup goes on beautifully over this. It doesn't leave me with a white cast once it's absorbed. I always put it all over my face, my ears, and my chest, and on my hands when I'm done. Um, but you can literally use any one that works for you. So if you've tried this and maybe it's too greasy for you or too drying or too white cast, um, I highly recommend you find one. That's something that you need to spend the money on, that you need to go get right now. I'm sorry, ladies. Again, I'm sorry for my sun babes out there. You need to start self tanning. This is number one if you want to age gracefully. Okay, moving on. So now you're done um, with your morning routine. So you would generally put on your makeup or you know whatever you do. If you don't do makeup, you're all set. You've got your sunscreen on and you're, you look good. You're ready to go. Um, so, oh, this hair, you guys. I need my hair stylist. Um, okay, something that, so now let's dive into, you know, um, at night, more ramped up routine. Uh, something that I love, by the way, on my lips, I have it on right now, is just this Aquaphor Healing Ointment. Um, it's just clinically proven to restore and smooth healthy skin. It's for dry, cracked, and irritated skin. That stuff is amazing. So if you have dry skin in the winter or even now or on your lips before bed, this stuff is awesome. I highly recommend it. Um, again, I have it on my lips right now. They are feeling a little dry. Um, one time I was wearing this out to the store to Target because I usually wear a lip gloss. Again, it's unscented. You don't want scented things on your lips because then you're going to lick your lips and you're going to get cracked lips. Um, someone actually asked me if I had lip injections. I definitely don't have big lips, but I guess it just kind of made them plump, which was awesome. Um, yeah, and I like it a lot, but I love this one. Um, I use it mainly for my lips and if I have any like... Um, dry patches on my face before bed and it does kind of um, it goes down and it's fragrance free again you want to buy products that are fragrance free if I cannot stress that enough fragrance is very very irritating so if you're buying all these products and you notice I don't care if it's the last thing the last ingredient on the list if there's fragrance in it it's definitely going to be irritating um, so two more that I like I like the CeraVe baby healing ointment um, this is actually, it helps to prevent diaper rash and it's a skin protectant with ceramides again and it's lan lanolin free. This stuff is awesome. Um, I put this on my lips too before I get treatments. When I do my treatments at home, I like to do masks at home, glycolic acid, things like that. Um, I like to put it under my eyes, even before bed, under my eyes, around my nose, lips. Um, this is awesome if you have babies. I heard this was awesome too for their bottoms for um, diaper rash. They were out of my normal one, which I'm going to get to, which is why I got this, but this is awesome. Um, the last one is the CeraVe Healing Ointment. So this protects and soothes dry, cracked, and chafed skin. Um, it has ceramides, non-greasy feel. This stuff, you have to get this. So whether your hands are dry at night, whether your feet are dry, your face. I literally, I do my skincare. I like to put on, um, you know, just like I said, my lotions that I showed you. And I lock it in with this. Yes, it's hard. It has a greasy feel. You can't use it during the day on your face because, you know, it's definitely an emollient, like it says. Um, but this, you have to get this. This is another item that you have to get. It's amazing. I do um, tretinoin treatments, retin-A, um, things like that. So if you use retinols or you know anything like that on your face where it kind of makes your skin peel, maybe you go to the medical spa and get peels, which by the way, I highly recommend if you can, go to a medical spa, so a dermatologist medical spa, and get a real um, treatment, get a real facial, get a real glycolic acid, salicylic acid, 
whatever they recommend, they recommend it for your skin type, get that. That is amazing. You're not going to get the same result at home for those types of things, you guys. But this stuff right here, I literally put this on my face, around my eyes, um, my lips. This stuff is awesome. Highly recommend. Okay. So now we're getting into the last bit. So like I said, um, I use tretinoin or better known as Retin-A cream. This is the highest percent you can get, which is 0.1%. I think it starts at 0 0.025, which I started at. This is a prescription only product. You have to have a prescription, but I found an online pharmacy in the time of need right now. That is the only one that I can verify and tell you 100% that it is a real pharmacy that they diagnose you online and you can get this treatment. So if you've ever really wanted to try your own um, cream and maybe your own tretinoin or retin-A cream and maybe you... Um, you know, don't have the money to go to the dermatologist or the doctor and then also pay for the product because this can be quite expensive. Generally, insurance doesn't cover it because it is considered a beauty product. Um, this is the only thing, you guys, the only thing that is going to help with um, reducing wrinkles um, and sagging skin. So everything that you see um, in you know, Sephora, Ulta, Target, all the beauty products, sure, they're gonna make you have supple skin. You definitely wanna use things and keep your skin nice and always use SPF, number one, for anti-aging, but nothing is going to take away your wrinkles. You need to get a real um, product from, you know, the pharmacy from your doctor, from your dermatologist. And this is the only thing that studies prove that it does reverse the signs of aging. That is why you don't see um, me using a bunch of high-end products um, because it it doesn't work. So it does make your skin glowy and plump, but it's not going to reverse the signs of aging. Um, the only thing that's clinically proven to do that is Retin-A or Tretinoin cream. And I highly recommend this if, um, you know, you definitely want to get your dermatologist's opinion on how to use it and when to use it. It's extremely irritating. I've been using this for a very long time, most recently in the last year consistently, um, and you definitely have to use a sunblock and you only use it at night, or you will ruin your skin because your skin is literally peeling, but it's microscopic peeling, so um, you know, people aren't going to notice. You're not getting like a peel where you're peeling off your face. Um, but I highly, highly recommend, especially if you are, I would start using this as soon as possible. If you're 20 and using this, awesome. If you're 30, you need to be using tretinoin cream. You start out with the lowest one, you work your way up, you do it once every third day. Again, I'm not a dermatologist. You should always consult with your dermatologist. But I will link below um, the pharmacy. I believe it's called Mint RX. They're located in Florida. They are a real pharmacy you do have to take pictures and they um, you know look at your skin again you want to be very careful you want to you know know how to use this stuff and you need to protect your skin with sunblock um, because you will ruin your skin if you use this product and you go out in the sun even if it's not sunny and do not have sunblock on because your skin is going you know you're appealing you're getting like that baby skin back that youthful skin but I highly recommend this and again um, something else I want to mention, I have melasma. If you're not familiar with melasma, it's like dark spots on your face. It's not sunspots, but it's similar to that. Um, sometimes you get it during or after pregnancy. It's hormonal. I got it from my birth control, um, from using birth control for 10 years, and it's very hard to get rid of. That is something that you can't get an over-the-counter product. I've tried everything, all dark spots fading creams. The only thing that worked for me um, was something that I had to get from the dermatologist. Mint RX has it too. I can do a whole nother video on that if you guys want. Um, it's nearly gone. It took me three years to get rid of it, but once I found what worked, which was um, I used it in conjunction with Retin-A, um, it, it definitely it's a life changer. So if you guys have some skin conditions going on, so whether it is dark spots, whether it is melasma, whether you have, um, you know, hyperpigmentation, which is the same thing, or um, rosacea, things like that, I would say don't waste your money on products, hoping that it's going to be a miracle product that's over the counter. Get into your dermatologist, do the research, get real products 
from the doctor that you need a prescription for. I know it's kind of crappy to hear, but I'm here to tell you, I had a skin condition for three years. It bothered me so much. And finally, after buying all these products, which cost hundreds and hundreds of dollars, I went and got the product that worked and literally within a week, it just kept getting better and better. Um, and now I consistently use this for anti-aging and this is acne. This was originally like an acne product um, and then that's how they figured out the anti-aging benefits um, with tretinoin or most known as Retin-A. But you guys, you know, go see your dermatologist, get what you need and you will be so happy that you did all the products like I said, are topical products that you get from the drugstore. So yes, they help with keeping your skin plump and supple, but they're not gonna reverse the signs of aging. The only thing that can reverse the signs of aging is tretinoin cream. Um, and you definitely need sunblock. So the last two quick products that I'm going to show you, um, good old Vaseline or Vasilatum as Dr. Dre likes to call it. It's 100% white petroleum and it's just a skin protectant. They still use these in hospitals, the stuff. I don't know, um, I used to think it was bad for you, but after I did all the research and talked to a dermatologist, this is great. So it's more of a locking in things. So maybe you got a treatment done um, and you're really dry skin and you put on your products and you just want to lock in that moisture. It's like a sealing um, product. Um, this is awesome. This is awesome for your lips as well. Love this stuff. You just put it on before bed and it's awesome. So I highly recommend that. It's like a dollar, you guys. And then the last thing I want to show you is the Neutrogena Hydro Boost Body Gel Cream with Hyaluronic Acid. Um, it's fragrance-free. Again, get the fragrance-free one. They have one that's regular. You want fragrance-free for sensitive skin. It instantly quenches for clinical, proven, supple, hydrated skin. So I really like this stuff. So like I mentioned, I love my Bum Bum Cream. Um, I will never stop using that stuff all over my body, but let's say you just want something that's very affordable at the drugstore that you can just put on. Maybe you're sensitive to scents. Maybe you just want something great. This was really good because it doesn't have a weird smell like this one. This just smells, it doesn't even smell really. It just doesn't, it's, it's hard to explain guys. Let me smell it. I don't know, it just smells like an old lady cream or something. Even though there's no real scent, I just don't like it. <laughs> this one really doesn't smell like anything and it's more of a gel. Literally just slather it on while you're wet, getting out of the shower and let your body just absorb that moisture. Um, and again, maybe you use like perfumes or body mists or other lotions that you don't want another scent to get in the way of. This is great. So again, you, it's Neutrogena Hydro Boost Body Gel Cream, but you wanna get the fragrance free one. You're gonna see one next to it you want the fragrance free. So I highly recommend this and you can use this on your face too. So remember I showed you this little guy here, um, the Hydro Boost for your face. This is like literally the same thing, a little bit different, it has lotion in there, but this is not going to irritate your face. So you can actually use this on your face too. Um, so there you have it guys. If you're interested in, I don't know, more of like a get ready skincare routine with me, um, let me know um, if you'd like me to get into maybe how I the products that I use to pamper myself or the treatments that I get when I go to the medical spa. Um, let me know in the comments below. I definitely want to hear your thoughts if you've used any of these products, um, what products you use. And as always, I love you guys. I hope you have an amazing day. I hope you found this video helpful. Please give it a thumbs up. It really helps me out. And I'll see you next time. Bye, guys. Um, it went good. I'm trying to do, I forgot to do my... Uh. Alright. <laughs>